So in February 2005, there was an interesting scenario that happened that pertains to this rule about engine inoperative and landing at the nearest suitable airport in point of time where a safe landing can be made. There was a British Airways flight 268 that was departing Los Angeles, and as the airplane was at about 300 feet into the air, one of its four engines exploded. It was a Boeing 747-400. And the pilot shut the engine down. Air traffic control assumed that they were going to dump fuel and land at a suitable airport. However, the crew elected to, they talked with the dispatcher and elected to continue on as far as they could rather than dump 70 tons of fuel and land. Since the 747 can fly on three engines. So the crew continued on its flight. Um, It flew over 4,700 miles going by many suitable airports where it could have made a landing, but they elected to continue. As they left the East Coast, another consultation with the dispatcher, they found that their airplane was doing fine and they elected to cross the Atlantic. But while over the Atlantic, they had not as... um, good of winds as were forecast, and they ended up actually declaring an emergency and diverting to Manchester uh, because of fuel reasons. So here's the path that the airplane was supposed to take, about 4,700 miles. And the interesting part about this is, once the FAA found out what had gone on, they immediately said that the British Airways pilots had violated this regulation, 121.565 because they had taken an unairworthy airplane over the Atlantic and they had not landed at the nearest suitable airport in point of time. And since British Airways was operating in FAA jurisdiction airspace, they were supposed to follow the rules that were put out by the FAA. It ended up um, going back and forth. The FAA tried to find British Airways. The British Civil Aviation Authorities said that the flight did not break any rules, in their opinion, and it ended up going back and forth, and eventually the FAA dropped their charges. But it's definitely not advisable for a flight to continue flying, even if it's got four engines and only one of them has failed. It it really is not in the interest of safety, and it is against this regulation for the flight to continue. It really needs to land at the nearest suitable airport in point of time where a safe landing can be made.